I think anybody who's ever known me during my life is, has known that I've always been kind of, I think the word is feisty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe, maybe feisty is a good word, but I've always kind of had this fight in me and, and I think it comes from, you know, dealing with a lot of crap since I was a kid, you know, physically and having to be in the hospital when I was little and fight for, you know, whatever. But, um, and, and fighting to be able to do what I want to do. You know, I, I was in acrobatics when I was little and I was in tennis in school and it was always kind of like I had to fight to prove that I was who I was. And I think that carried over to the gun thing where, you know, I, I have this, this will to be autonomous and I, I want to be myself and I want to do what I want to do and nobody's going to stop me. And, um, I, it didn't, the gun thing didn't ever come into it until much later in life. You, you all know that I've been kind of, I was anti-gun for a long time in my life. And then I started shooting and I was like, Hey, you know, wow, this can really enforce the fact that fuck you, I'm going to do what I want to do. And, and no, you are not going to, you know, hurt me. No, you're not going to stop me you know that sort of that sort of feeling it's kind of when they say it is an equalizer I really took that to heart and top that that off with the fact that when I was learning about guns there was this there was a story in the news locally where there was a young girl and she was kidnapped and later months later they found her head and I thought to myself I do not ever want to be kidnapped and decapitated and that is, I mean, it's gruesome, but it's, it's a huge thing for me. I do not want to be murdered. I do not want to be decapitated. I do not want to be someone's meat. And it comes down to that. It's as primal and as basic as that. I am never going to be in the paper to be the missing woman or the woman found dead wherever. It's not going to be my story. And I'm choosing that. I have chosen that and that's, and, and really that's why, that's why I carry a gun. That's why I'm not a sheep. It's because I have chosen not to be because I, I see that it's possible. I live in reality. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm a small person. I am a woman. I'm not strong. I have one leg. I can't really run away from people. I, it's not going to be my story. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be a victim. And you have to consciously decide what is going to be your story. And I think people who, who just say, oh, well, bad things don't happen. And, and, oh, guns don't solve anything. And violence is never the answer. They live in this fantasy. And I think they really need to, to look at what actually happens in the real world. Women do get victimized and, and left in fields, dead and raped and cut into pieces. And it happens. And you have to choose not to be that. And that's why I'm not a sheep. 